its moon, formation, composition and orbit. Orbit. The moon is the easiest celestial object to find in the night sky, when it's there. Moon phases and the moon's orbit are a mystery to many. Because it takes 27.3 days both to rotate on its axis and to orbit Earth, the moon always shows us the same face. We see the moon because of reflected sunlight. How much of it we see depends on its position in relation to Earth and the Sun day. Though a satellite of Earth, the Moon is bigger than Pluto. Some scientists think of it as a planet, four other moons in our solar system are even bigger, though that viewpoint has never caught on officially. There are various theories about how the Moon was created but recent evidence indicates it formed when a huge collision tore a chunk of the Earth away. Physical Characteristics of Earth's Moon From year to year, the Moon never seems to change. Craters and other formations appear to be permanent now, but the Moon didn't always look like this. Thanks to NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, we now have a better look at some of the Moon's history. The Moon likely started its life as a giant ball of magma formed from the remains of an impact on Earth about four and a half billion years ago. After the hot material collected into a sphere, the magma began to cool, eventually forming a crust on the surface of the Moon, with the magma just underneath. Around 4.3 billion years ago, a giant impact battered the Moon's South Pole, forming the South Pole Aitken Basin and sending debris as far as the opposite side of the Moon. This impact marked the beginning of a period that would cause large-scale changes to the Moon's surface. One by one, more huge collisions shaped the terrain, some forming large basins that would eventually fill in to become the dark-colored patches of the Moon, known as Maria. They began as normal craters, but soon started to change due to the size of the impact on the relatively thin crust. Because the Moon had not yet fully cooled on the inside, lava began to seep out through the cracks caused by the impacts. The resulting volcanic activity spread lava throughout the craters, gradually filling them in and cooling. Because of the high iron content of the basalt in the rock, the maria reflect less light and therefore appear darker than the surrounding highlands of the moon. Around one billion years ago, volcanic activity ended on the near side of the moon as the last of the large impacts made their mark on the surface. The Moon continued to be battered by other impactors, although they were much smaller than the objects that formed the largest basins. Some of the largest, most recent, and best known impacts from this period include the Tycho, Copernicus, and Aristarchus craters, which are unique due to the complex system of rays that stretch out from the impact site. Finally, we arrive at the Moon that we see today. Though the surface continues to be affected by impacts, the rate has slowed down drastically to the point where the Moon appears unchanging to the human eye as a permanent record of its own history and a glimpse of how craters may have formed here on Earth. Internal structure. The Moon very likely has a very small core just 1 to 2 percent of the Moon's mass and roughly 420 miles that is 680 kilometers wide. It likely consists mostly of iron but may also contain large amounts of sulfur and other elements. Its rocky mantle is about 825 miles that is 1,330 kilometers, thick and made up of dense rocks rich in iron and magnesium. Magmas in the mantle made their way to the surface in the past and erupted volcanically for more than a billion years from at least 4 billion years ago to fewer than 3 billion years past. The crust on top averages some 42 miles, 70 kilometers, deep. The outermost part of the crust is broken and jumbled due to all the large impacts it has received, a shattered zone that gives way to intact material below a depth of about 6 miles that is 9. Surface composition like the four inner planets. The Moon is rocky. It's pockmarked with craters formed by asteroid impacts millions of years ago. Because there is no weather, the craters have not eroded. The average composition of the lunar surface by weight is roughly 43% oxygen, 20% silicon, 
19% magnesium, 10% iron, 3% calcium, 3% aluminum, 0.42% chromium, 0.18% titanium and 0.12% ma- Atmosphere of the moon The moon has a very thin atmosphere, so a layer of dust, or a footprint, can sit undisturbed for centuries. And without much of an atmosphere, heat is not held near the planet, so temperatures vary wildly. Daytime temperatures on the sunny side of the moon reach 273 degrees F, on the dark side it gets as cold as 243.